there, Coach James Short here, and welcome to another, uh, what we should call it, content piece. We shall call it that. So today I want to talk about a vision board. Now, we're going to get a little bit woo here, but here's a statistic for you. Out of my clients, those who complete and do a vision board achieve 80% of the goals that are on their vision board. So it's a pretty powerful piece. So what is a vision board? Hmm, and why should we do it, and how are we going to go about it? So a vision board is the why we should actually do a vision board is it because it gives allows us focus and it gives us a a pathway to achieving our goals. So if you think about this, let's do this for a little example. So I don't want you to think of a pink tree. Yeah, don't think of a pink tree. What happens? You think of a pink tree. So when we think of our things is when we think of our goals, when we think of our dreams and aspirations, we think of them in images. We think of them, we bring that up in our internal movie screen and we can picture it. That body that you want to achieve, the car that you want to drive, the house that you want to live in, the holiday trip that you want to go to, it comes up in our mind's eye and we think about them in pictures. And so what happens is that when we think about, when we see a picture and it comes up in our mind's eye, what happens is that that information gets deleted, distorted, or generalized based on our upbringing, based on our beliefs, based on our values. And that shifts our physiology on how we feel about that. So we might get excited, we might get um, nervous, we might get energized, we might get even frustrated, right? So we have a physiology shift within us, within inside of ourselves. Then from that, what happens, that change in physiology changes our behavior, right? Changes our from our behavior, then changes our action. So by having a, a images on a piece of paper or on a screen allows us then to have that mental shift and allows us to then take action to, to then move us closer to achieving those goals. So remember a time when you've you've bought a new car, for example, all of a sudden you see all the same cars on the road. How is that possible? Well, that's called your reticular activating system. And so what happens, those cars are always been on the road. It's just that now we have that focus and that's what we're now seeing time and time again. So very similar towards having a vision board. By putting it out there on a piece of paper or on a computer screen and looking at every single day allows us to have that focus and now starts to project us on that image and what we see and then what we need to do in order to move us closer to achieve those goals. So I love to use a really simple formula to actually help us to create a vision board. And this is such an easy thing to do, but it's such a powerful thing to do. So all we do is open up PowerPoint or open up Keynote if you're a Mac or or a Microsoft user. And what you do is just to create one page, one sheet, that's all you need. And then you have your goal list next to you and then go to Google Images, Google Images and type in your goal. It could be the car that you want, the house that you want, the holiday, whatever you want, picture of your, your new design body, whatever you want, right, as a goal and put that into the search and you'll come up with all these images. What you do is then right click, copy and then paste it onto this one sheet. And then do that for all your goals. And sooner or later, you'll have a collage of all your different goals onto one sheet. Then press print two times, so two copies. And then I want you to laminate it. And then with those two copies, I want one to go into the shower. Yep, I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. And the other one either at, at home, around the bedroom, or on the fridge, or and the other one uh, at, could be in the office, okay? Now, the reason why we put one in the shower is that because it's laminated, it can get wet, it's totally easy, totally fine, but it's something that we're, we're in a place every single day that we see. And it was always great thinking time in the shower to reminisce and think and, and think of what we're working on and, and review what we've achieved. And so this is why working and putting your vision board into the shower is a great way to have a, a key focus every single day. So... The power of this enables us to really get focus on what we want, why we want it, and enables us to take action towards the goals that we want to achieve. So remember that statistic. Of the clients that have got to do a vision board over the years, they achieve at least a minimum 80% of their goals. Pretty powerful. So let's get into it. Let's get cracking. I'd love to see some vision boards. Send them through. And uh, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.